Hey guys, welcome back to Make That Sea Change. Paul here with you again today. Make That Sea Change is my site and channel aimed at everything to do with setting up your own online business. Now along those lines today, we're gonna to look at a compensation plan of a multi-level multi marketing company called Lularo. So I think I'm spelling, pronouncing that right. Comment below if I'm not. Uh, Lularo are a somewhat controversial company. They've been in the spotlight in recent times for a few legal issues, as in around the quality of their product and payment to um, suppliers and the like. But they're still up and running and they sell women's fashion mainly. So what I'm gonna do here is have a look at the conversation plan. What I like to do with these sort of ones is have a look and see if you can make downline commissions without needing to nurture a downline. So sales commissions, my apologies, not downline commission. So basically, can you sell the products, earn a commission on that without needing to worry about a downline and sales targets and the like? And also, are there any joining costs? If there's any joining or startup costs, that can be something that can you have to take into account as well. So let's go through and have a look at the compensation plan here. Uh, Lularo, as I've mentioned, work in the fashion industry. They um, sell things like bottoms, dresses, denim layers, leggings, skirts, tops. They're quite famous for their leggings, um, so I've been told. Um, and their products around $120 to $100 per piece, which is something to keep in mind when we look at joining costs and etc. soon. But that's basically what they sell. Uh, women's fashion is an extremely popular niche. I mean, um, clothing is something that we all continuously buy and fashion is, you know, worldwide a popular niche. Um, probably not as replenishable as, you know, if you look at beauty or cosmetics or supplements or anything like that. However, obviously there is a good market there. Um, as far as the program's concerned, let's run through that. Uh, they call themselves independent fashion retailers, IFRs. Um, I'll probably just call them retailers or whatever I've written there at the times I go through. Um, I did have to do a little bit of searching to find their compensation plan, which I personally always think is a bit of a red flag if you're trying to hide it, why? Um, but anyway, um, base commission rate, 20 to 50%, the difference between the wholesale purchase price and the retail selling price. Um, that's a little bit ambiguous as well. I'll explain why in a minute, but the good thing is you can make these sales you can make these commissions without having to nurture a downline or meet any sales targets. So that is quite good. Uh, downline commission rates, you will need, there are, you know, rankings involved there. 0.6 to 5%, a little low, but, you know, that's sort of on par with a lot of them as well. Okay, here's the first kicker. The good thing is you don't need to meet make a sales, meet sales targets to meet, earn these commissions. But there are um, there are some purchase prices. So basically, they're working on a party plan model. There is social media that you can sell it via, and I think there's a website now. But basically, it's the old party plan model, and you need to have demonstration stock. And the um, basically, you need to sell sixty five pieces and a minimum of nineteen hundred and fifty dollars in sales to meet your first payments. And then your joining costs, basically the initial outlay is $500 and includes 65 pieces of clothing. So you're going to need to sell all your first kit to start to earn commissions. So that's quite high, uh, $499. Although if you can sell, for, you can buy them for $500 and sell them for $1950, that's pretty darn good. Um, but there are ongoing purchases and it's seasonal. So I did do a bit of research around this and this isn't coming directly from the official site. So comment below if any of this is inaccurate, but through my research online and you know other reviews of people who worked in the, you know with the company and stuff like that, basically you're going to need to outlay at least two and a half to five thousand dollars to be fully stocked for you to have your demonstration items such as racks and that plus racks, coat hangers, etc. Um, but you need to have the clothes to sell the clothes effectively um, from what I'm reading. So that is something that I would definitely be double checking before you um, before you go headlong to this one that you may have some pretty large outgoings to get started. Okay, so basically um, one good thing is that if you sell a product for 20 bucks, then the commission's calculated in full 20 bucks. So it's full 100% commissions, not including tax and shipping obviously, but that's common. Um, so that is one positive there as well. 
Okay, let's have a look through. Um, mixture of old and new MLM sales processes. And to be honest, this one was a little bit ambiguous in a lot of areas. Uh, seven payment options, so we'll go through that. Please correct me again if um, I've got any of this inaccurate because as I mentioned, some of it was a little bit difficult to comprehend. Uh, basically, your first one's your retail sales profit, which is common. Uh, base profits earned by your IFR on day-to-day -day sales, either through the social media or in your party plan model. Um, no clear commission rate, but the earned difference between the wholesale price that you pay for them and then the retail price that you can sell them for. So I guess it gives you a little bit of wiggle room in your in your you know your parties that you can say, okay, well this is a hundred bucks, or you want it for eighty, okay, I'll give it to you for eighty. Even and you might have only paid forty for it as part of your kit. So some pros there, but again, most of the stuff I read re mentioned it to be around twenty five to fifty percent. Okay, sponsor compensation. Um, if you can sponsor, if you can bring in IFRs below you, so basically start building your downline, you get three percent of their retail sales. So everything they sell, you get three percent. Um, but you must be active, so you must have retail sales sixty five pieces with a total of nineteen hundred fifty dollars in sales for the calendar month. And that once you get that, which is quite a bit if you got thirty dollars per item, uh, to get you three percent. Downline commissions, common, uh, 1.8 on all sales generated by those in a the downline, they've not personally sponsored. So you get your 3% on the people you sponsor and then 1.8% on their downline as well. So if you're a trainer rank, for example, there's 3% of your downline members and then 1.8% 1 of their downline. So that's your common uni unilateral commissions. So two levels, 1.8 to 3%. Uh, not too bad, Rare, fairly average, but still quite low. Uh, graduated leader commissions, generation type commission. This happens in many. Um, you get an, N, an extra 0.6% of the total downline sales if you've got any graduated leader or tr rank of trainer or above within your team. So if you, can, if you can nurture some members in your downline to get to the higher ranks, you get an extra 6% of their total downline sales. Sponsor tier ranks. Um, you know, another common one again, once you reach the higher ranks, you get a nice little bonus. So 250 um, dollar bonus once you get the rank. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, basically, just if you meet all that, $500 if you meet all that, 750 if you meet all that. So there you go. There's your rank bonuses. Um, leadership pool, this is another common one. Uh, basically, comp MLM companies will set aside a certain percentage of their total sales, in this case 1.2%, and then you get points, and each point is a portion of that 1.2%. So if you're a trainer, uh, you re receive one point qualifying as trainer, then one point for each first level leader on your team. We'll go through ranks in a minute. Coaches and mentors, two points, and then one point for first level, and two points for a second level. So if you reach the ranks yourself, you get a portion, and then if you've got downline members in that, at the high ranks, you get another portion of that 1.2%. 90 day fast start bonus, this is a couple, this is a couple, this is a common one again within multi-level marketing. So if you can sign people up and they can heat, reach their sales targets, um, if they can sell 175 pieces a month with a minimum of $5,250 in sales for each of their first three months, then you'll receive a $1,500 credit towards purchase of a new product. And that's how some of these payments are done within this program as well. You don't get the cash, you get discounts to within that product. So, you know, if you're not paying as much for them next time around, you can sell them and get a higher percentage on the sale. Okay, so that's your seven options there. Ranking structure. So as we mentioned there, training. Trainers, one of your ranks. There's, it didn't give me a table as much um, as some of the others do. But once you have one IFR, you'll get the rank of sponsor and you receive compensation of rank of sponsor. Then once you reach trainer, which is where we started to talk about our downline commissions, etc., must have three personally sponsored IFRs, total of 10 pe people in your team. So if you get three and they get three, well, then you've got it covered. Uh, 125 pieces of minimum, $3,750 a sale. Um, and the team totaling 650 pieces and 19,500 in sales. So that's to be trainer, coach, 
when you go at 154,000 and 25,000 in your team, mentor, um, all coach requirements and have a six leadership leg. So must have three, have a coach in the above or above in the leg, etc. So, and that's common again. So once you start to reach the high ranks, you must meet sales targets, but also have high ranking members in your downline, same as this one to get to ambassador requirements. So there's some of the ranks you've got within your company as well. Uh, what's good about this one? Commission rates are good. So if you can earn 25 to 50% commission on all your sales, uh, good variety of products at a decent price, which is both a good and a bad thing. Good thing is it makes it easy to sell. Bad thing is you need to sell a lot more of them to get to earn your ranks. Um, and women's fashion, obviously, a lucrative market. Not the full array of bonuses. It's not too bad. I'm not sure where I put that in. I might take that out, to be honest. Um, joining and ongoing costs are extremely high, especially if you've got to spend that two and a half to 5000 to get all your product. Uh, downline commission rates are quite low. And there's a lot of lawsuits going on within the company at time of writing, as I mentioned. So just check that out as well. And that's it, guys. That's the LuLaRoe MLM compensation plan. Hope that was helpful for you. Again, comment below if any of my information is inaccurate. But from what I can see here, yes, you can earn pretty good commissions without needing to nurture downline. But there are some pretty hefty starting costs there if you need to build your demonstration stock for your party plan models, etc. And just make sure those lawsuits haven't put the company into an untenable position before you join as well. Okay, guys, hope that was helpful. Again, comment below. Love to hear your experiences with the product as well, with the program as well. And if you're new within YouTube, please, as always, like and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that very much. Thanks, guys. Chat to you soon. Bye.